Hey guys, and welcome back to Walker Shit, not including Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, we are playing in the LZ Alpha with uh, nine current duplicates on the go in the base. We last time thought that we were going to go on a bit of an explore, but unfortunately, we ended up trying to sort out all sorts of water systems and getting the cooling going, but the cooling did not go down very well. As you can see, we have got some overheating on the way here. So, in emergency measures, we have started digging through and trying to get down to some uh, weaselworts. These are not going to be a permanent solutions, though. They are going to be an aid to the solution, but they are in no means going to be the permanent solution. The permanent solution actually lies over here with this. Uh, behind here, you can see we've got the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. So, hopefully, today will be the day where we can actually get down and make use of that. So much so that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a super high priority on those ladders there and try and get everything working. Uh, did I just see that we've got critters are starving? The main problem here, of course, with the critters are starving is the fact that people aren't coming along to do the coal generators. Uh, we do have a priority nines on here, but it turns out that uh, maybe there's a few of those kicking around. In fact, there's not that many when it comes to the great uh, great uh, balance of it all. You can see most things are fives. Uh, over here, these uh, can actually probably go down a little bit more. They are my mushrooms which unfortunately we are waiting on this little guy here to produce a load of slime for and that, that's just going to take a while you can see we've got a bunch of hydrogen in there as well we could probably want to clear that out uh, but that is things that we will work on uh, later uh, talking of working on later we definitely want to try and get a bunch of these reed fiber off the drek so that we can come through here and get some more of this let's have a look we've got the reed fiber now so actually what we're missing is a little bit of the aluminium you know i'm going to go ahead and make that right that has got to be a way forwards beautiful Okay, we have just finished research. That's beautiful. That down here is the, uh, well, here we go, computing research. That's beautiful. And, uh, you know, it's more just helpful to have than actually uh, necessary. But up here, we're going to start working towards, oh, we've already got fossil fuels. That is beautiful. I think we're going to work towards the plastic manufacturing then. And I'm going to start thinking about how we can uh, start making use of all the uh, petroleum that we've been making down here. I think that'll be something to work towards as soon as actually this ladder gets expanded upon. I don't know who's actually going to be working on it. Let's have a look over here we've got decipher and mimi okay that's that's great but not amazing this is one of the reasons why i want to get the exosuit forge up and running so that we can have more exosuits here because i feel like that would be uh, more useful to give people a way out we've got a whole bunch of stuff that needs be needs to be made it's just not not getting made yet now i almost feel like we're still leaking down here people are doing their work but man it's 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 not great we we still keep getting water down here i'm well hoping that one, once we dig through this uh the wheeze warts are going to get put in place and very quickly do their business of course the carbon dioxide that's down here is not the best element for this hydrogen is in fact the best element i'm wondering whether we can get maybe some liquids working in there as well but i'm not sure if that's the thing are you guys really going all the way down here What's going on, Dr. Captain Subs? You seem, you seem like you're having a crisis of conscience or a crisis of uh, places to go. Uh, maybe you could go there, but you, you, you're just not making up your mind. Let's, let's get in there and help him out. Okay, we're going to leave Miss Aline uh, doing the business over here, as she is literally the only one that can do the digging. Is she the only one that can do the digging? Let's have a look. We've got a lot of skill points to be spent here, but as you can see, the morale needs are not exactly um, massive, so I, I would like to try and keep that down. But it says here that we do have two people, Miss Aline and Mad Frank, both capable of doing that dig there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mad Frank topping out over the top of the morale needs there. We need to try and keep an eye on that. Forest here, okay, doing well. We could uh, work him towards... Yeah, let's give him the exosuit training because this does all marry up and you know he's he's at the very limit of what his morale can deal with uh we've got a luna cop here she is art uh, and tidying seems to be working all right we're, we're fine with that for the moment got the cypher getting the full farm and ranch down that is a brilliant uh dr captain subs of course working towards his doctoring let's make sure that he is top top doctor there we go beautiful shradicus doing the same for the cooking nice nice that is exactly what we want we've got cubic down here doing uh he's doing a farm isn't he so let's make sure that he can continue doing the farm okay that's beautiful and then mimi is uh, an operator okay beautiful beautiful i need to go and make sure that she's actually doing what she should be doing so we're going to come down here and have a look mimi operating so life support yes operating yes Okay, uh, so I've just come over this way to see how the uh, build is going on. Mad Frank is doing pretty well, but I just hold this, uh, heard this make a great big noise over here, so I'd like to go and have a look. We can get some omelettes. Uh, are we interested in either a researcher or a digger? I don't want to get a, a mixed 
bag anymore. I don't think I am, so I'm going to grab the uh, the omelette there. Did I just break it? I think I might have broken it a little bit, but that's still all good. What's the new things here? We've got an arcade cabinet. That's pretty cool. In the stations, we've got the virtual planetarium. We need to kind of get up high before we can make any use of that. And down here, we've got the duplicate, duplicate checkpoint, which means we can finally actually lock this bit off here. Uh, in fact, let's, let's do that. I want to put that there like that. All right, beautiful. And then we're going to have uh, down here somewhere, not the liquid, maybe it's in the medical... So I've definitely researched it. I've just spent a little bit of time trying to dig through here and find the germ sensor. There it is. All right, it was grayed out. That's why I couldn't see it. I want to put the ger the germ sensor down here. It turns out I am missing a little bit of uh, plastic. Okay, that that's what I need to work on. But we're going to leave that there for now. And then I want to connect this up so that when the polluted water goes through, it, it doesn't get sucked up unless it's actually, you know, clean. Well, there's definitely a lot of carbon dioxide being eaten over here. We've got a little bleach stone down here as well. Let's sweep that up. I'm not sure if we know exactly where that's going to end up going, but, well, in fact, we do know it's going over this way. I'm also being told that this, I need to uh, grow some salt vine in it. This is uh, what we would sh should be using to eat up all our chlorine, so that's something to uh, bear in mind. One of these can support five salt vines, I think, because this is obviously where the majority of our chlorine is coming from. Well, actually, the majority of it is just kind of, like, kicking around. It's the stuff we have sucked up. But... Uh, uh, yeah, the salt vine is something to work on there. We're not going to do that straight away because, of course, we want to actually get down here. Okay, this is looking good and beautiful. I'm going to leave all of this in place and then actually throw a ladder down here because that feels like one of the best ways to actually get and into this without having to... Uh, break the seal. I want. I want to. I want to make a nice insulated box around this. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. What can we make it out of? Uh, I want. Yeah, slow heating, igneous rock. Let's. Uh, let's just kind of go around like this. And I'm hoping I can. Oh, I can't replace those. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, if we do something like that, and then take these out here and replace it with a door, we should be able. Especially if we go ahead maybe put it the other way around and make a, a, a hydrogen trap in here so that it can't get out uh, we can then flood this place with hydrogen and have this as a cooling device which is what we want wait i'm confused i thought we's what went into one of these maybe i've got the wrong box let's go ahead and take a few of these out Okay, according to this farm tile here, yeah, we grow uh, weeds wart in farm tiles now. Okay, that's that's a thing. I can live with that. I can live with that. I wasn't expecting it, if I'm to be honest with you, but we can definitely deal. Uh, so if we do that, wipe out all of these, we'll figure out... Do I just replace the floor? No. Uh, what I want to do, of course, is put another insulated layer down like that and then replace the floor with wherever I can find the, the farm tiles here like so right okay i've asked them to plant the wart seeds with the highest of priorities unfortunately it's kind of cubic that was going to be doing that and he's run away it says farming supplies zero i wonder who's actually on it mad frank or captain subsar we've got a cubic up here is he uh is he gonna breathe no forest forest is on it good work man come along and do the thing Okay, it's looking good. Uh, Luna has also gone ahead and picked up a wart down there, so we're going to hope that this all works out well. We've got more leaking on the go. I'm not sure where exactly it's all coming from. If I'm to be honest with you, it just keeps appearing. I'm fairly sure it's actually something to do with... Oh, no, it's too hot. It's too hot. Is that... Oh, no, no, no. Body temperature. We just need some phosphorite. That's okay. That That's something else we can get on top of. That's no problem. I thought... I really thought it was going to be too hot then for a moment. But it turns out that you can go all the way up to 95. So uh, that's, that's okay. We just need to get this water out of here because it's really causing trouble. And we don't... I don't like trouble, you know? Okay, cooling is occurring. It's not going fast. I've got to admit, it's not going fast at all. Cubit's coming along to uh, help this one out. Uh, I would like to actually, if I can, copy settings to here as well. And then maybe select B. Beautiful. And then again, select B. Beautiful. This should make this a nice controlled enclosed area. In fact, I might even want to go as far as putting this here and then wiping these two out uh, for, 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 for full coverage. You, you can see why I want to do that, right? Okay, we can build ourselves an extra aluminium uh, suit. Actually, we look like we can make two if we want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and then I want to copy a couple of these out here. It's really quite important that this is the way that people can go. Because, well, it used to be that this was the harsh and hazardous environment. I think maybe this side is now. Uh, so we'll we'll make these and then we'll start try and set up another, another set on the other side. I think with nine duplicates in the population, we only want to have like four or five exosuits down here. So that, that's a thing to watch out for how much aluminium ore do we actually have left we have 93 tons so i'm kind of all right with that 
And the duplicates spring forth into their day. I'm wondering whether this is actually going to do anything uh, successful here. I mean, this is bringing down the temperature a little bit. We need to bring the, at least this base plate temperature down to like, you know, 20 degrees or something to stop this being just so overly hot. We need to bring it down the actual water below 75 degrees. And that's... That's, that's going to be difficult. Thankfully, I've made all these tiles out of obsidian because I knew heat transfer was going to be a thing we needed to work on. So hopefully that's going to work out well for us. I don't know if whether we can actually like put some more of uh, the Louise warts up high and that will like just have a complete cooling all around situation. But over here, we're waiting for all this to get dug. And as you can see, no one is doing the dig error. And that's a little bit of a shame. That's because we've got uh, Decipher and Cubic already on the uh, exosuits. I mean, that that's cool. It's going to take a while, though, to, to dig. To dig. That's what I mean. <laughs> Okay, after waiting for most of the morning, I was getting a little excited about Man Frank putting on the exosuit. I thought he was going to come down and do a little bit of digging down here, but it looks like he's actually going to come along and try and do some of these builds up here. No, he's he's done with that. Okay, fair enough. Deconstruct, but you need to go to the life support. Okay, that's not quite what we were expecting from you, Mad Frank, I'm to be honest. But, you know, if that's what you're doing, that's what you're doing. The real question is, is anyone going to come through and try and steal that exosuit from you whilst you're going around and do it? Where are you going? Wow, distance for the salt we really need to try and get that into the base somehow uh, is cubic also done here looks like he is he's also going somewhere over this way okay that's interesting as well uh right so who who's coming back that's the next question who's coming back all right so miss Align was the first she is down with the dig okay this looks good this looks like we might actually start getting a little bit of um resource movement down here a bit of, a bit of digging on the go the job's being fulfilled that would be pretty cool if you are me i mean we we got we got two ladders dug out i suppose oh we've got a circuit over no no it's disappeared i wonder where that was circuit over oh, that's because both of these are working at the same time right yeah almost definitely one of these bits around here i suppose that's okay and we have made an extra exosuit that's good i'm gonna push up the priority for building that one and let's get a little bit of a gas pipe on here and down like that this is gonna be uh, prioritize the exosuit at the beginning here if we have a look at our uh, auction display half of the auction that gets made is first going to go turn down this way because it's literally every time an auction gets into this junction one goes one one goes the other uh, and then the same situation goes is going to go down here so a quarter of all the auction gets into this first exosuit uh, and then uh, half of that comes down here and then half of that there etc etc until we end up with actually quite a small amount of oxygen in the end ones but as you can see these are all currently nicely tanked up so i'm hoping oh despite the uh, the little judder in the morning i'm hoping that it will actually be pretty fine oh luna cop no nah, I, I, I don't know whether i'm i'm fussed about this or not like trying to get it repaired but it's just it's not gonna work can we uh, disable auto repair uh, and then we'll we'll get back once all this stuff has been set up and chilled. Ooh, Miss Line went inside here. Why would you do that? Let's lock all these doors. But let's let's not let anybody in here. I have I have a feeling she was trying to repair this, uh, and I'm not that interested in that right now. Oh, looky here, we are getting significantly close to doing this. Go, 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 Mad Frank. I would really like it if Miss Align was down here as well. And it doesn't look like anybody else is using this other atmosphere suit. So I'm wondering... Oh, wait, here, here comes Shrouticus. I wonder what he's going to be doing down here. He is looking to get some cooking supplies, is he? Okay, all the way down here. That's, that's interesting. I find that very interesting. What cooking supply do you have? A hatchling egg. Okay, awesome. And also over here, we've got Forrest uh, feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to have a look. Um, we're going to give Forrest the first first go in the bed. I suppose that's cool. Let's choose the duplicate. We do have room for one more duplicate, but I'm not sure exactly who we want that to be. I don't think any of these are particularly jumping out at me, uh, but the blossom seeds... I mean, even then, I'm not, not entirely certain. Okay, slowly working on the replacement pipe system here. What was happening was that the uh, pincher peppers kept on getting... Uh, cold water pushed into them. Now, there's slightly warmer water here, so I thought we'd get the uh, sorry, slightly warmer environment right here. So I thought we'd get the radiant liquid pipes out to uh, turn the polluted water into slightly heated polluted water and that could hopefully uh, feed those pincher peppers a lot better. The rest of the water, however, will be moving up through here to uh, pour out onto the floor and hopefully make some polluted oxygen, but I've got a feeling this little puffed in here has been doing his business picking it up as it's been showing up. We got 850 grams of refined aluminium here, but it's still not coming over to this atmosphere suit dock. Uh, I, I wonder what's going on with that. I wonder what's going on. I assume it's just not a high enough priority. Let's try that. 
All right, here we go. Miss Line is going through and doing the business. Actually, she has taken a little bit of damage, hasn't she? We'll have to uh, keep an eye on that and hope that she doesn't take too much more. Soon as Forrest, of course, comes out of the med bay or hospital, as we call it now. Oh, she's already he's already gone. Let's uh, assign Miss Align to that. Probably should have carried on digging this out. But now that we know that this is here, we're going to grab ourselves a gas pipe. I'm going to grab this and pull this out this way, up and up this way. And then we need to try and find the hydrogen line, which I think... Oh, look, I've got a little pointless loop there. I was meaning, meaning to take that out ages ago when I built that across. Okay, that we have hydrogen coming into this one. So what I want to do is go ventilation. Uh, let's get the gas pipes out first. Or hit the wrong button. You know, either one works. Uh, I want to press the F7 again so I can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to pop this here. And the reason that I wanted to take this little loop out here is because there was this double join here. Uh, I don't think I can do that. No, gas ports cannot overlap. But we can do that. And then back over here. And then we've got a little bit of a hydrogen zigzag here. Uh, and I think that would be uh, that will work out quite well right that will work out very well as soon as everything gets done it says no pending deliveries i don't know why though it's not like we don't have enough aluminium on the go uh yeah like we, we got loads we got low all right let's, let's do another 10 and then when that's done we'll see what's going on yeah no, no one else has got anything workable just why not this how about if we do that no pending deliveries why I'm trying to make it out of iron, that's why. Ah, oh, you idiot. <laughs> Alright, atmospheric dock. Made out of aluminium. High priority job. Let's see if it gets done, shall we? I wonder how Miss Align feels about Dr. Captain Subs going around and dealing, like, with building sites in an animal pen before coming back and not even washing their hands before seeing her. I think, you know what? For the sake of realism, I'm going to go ahead and put a sink in right here. I know there's like literally zero need to, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I feel uncomfortable with my doctor not washing his hands. Hey, finally, Mad Frank coming along to do all these deconstructs that we've had set up for a while. I had to uh, go ahead and take them down to, uh, well, I had to put them up to a level nine just to make sure that he would come along and do them, which makes me worry about the state of my jobs out there. Now, um, am I just... Uh, fast tracking them to the top of the list or is the list just full of nines now? I mean, it looks like it's full of nines. How about someone else? Decipher. You also look like you're full of nines, but of course your very high list has got a slightly smaller list than that, so that that's okay. Uh, the grooming station, yeah, I, I suppose that's alright. These nines are the same nines that are being dealt with right here uh, by the one like Mad Frank, so that's no problem. The radiant liquid pipe does actually really need to get done though. Wow, problems with the Drex having to come all the way from up there to come and get, get like, fussed and groomed. Man, that's that's time. That is time. Uh, Miss Lines, you know how you've just got out of the hospital bed? Is diving into a boiling hot... Well, not quite boiling hot, but scalding hot water really what you wanted to do there? I don't know. She's doing it again. She, did, she, she literally went and did it again. All right, Miss, come, come here. You you have very nearly killed yourself. Oh wait, no, it's liquid pipe miss the line. I can I can tell the difference between materials and my duplicates. Leave me alone. Uh, so actually, we didn't even need to select her. We just need to come here and go get back in bed. Okay, and we finally get to deliver this exosuit to the exosuit dock. Also, uh, may have slightly forgotten to connect the other one up to the power grid there. I'm not sure if. Uh, you know, 480 is actually going to be a serious drain on us. I suppose we are dealing in thousands rather than 400s. So, oh wait, no, that's 4,000. No, no, it was 400. Sorry, I, I was right. <laughs> Not only uh, does Dr. Captain Subs go and deal with animals and uh, construction sites, but he leaves dirt just lying around in his uh, his hospital over here and the bits of like rubble in the corner. I mean, seriously, what what, what is going on with this hospital? <laughs> Whilst well, going through all the jobs, it looks like Mad Frank has actually got himself into a situation where he's building the extension onto this gas reservoir. That's probably a great idea because we are starting to back up a little bit in the chlorine here. As I say, salt vines will be the things to go for here, but I am trying to work on this right now. All right, good work, Frank. Off it goes. All draining through. Beautiful, beautiful. That That's actually going to be really cool. Really cool. Okay, over here, he is uh, got straight onto the business that I really wanted him to work on, moving all the hydrogen from up here to down below. Any hydrogen coming through? Yeah, there. 
there we go beautiful nice every now and then just a little bit of collection that ends up up here and one of these gas sensors will trip and start dragging it down i've got a feeling we could actually like poke a little hole in here and all the uh, the hydrogen would come rushing up leaving us with just uh, polluted water in here question mark that'd be great let's try it let's try it. i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put two airflow tiles one here and one here one to let gas in and one to let gas out whether it works or not we'll just have to wait and see so it turns out that Frank can carry enough for four build orders before he needs to go and find some more igneous, igneous rock. That's pretty cool. I would like it in particular if, you know, I don't know, someone was coming around after him. I don't know who's on. If we've got anyone who's just on supply. Let's have a look. Supply. Uh, we've got Forest and Luna, but no, no one specifically as a supply. So maybe that's the duplicate we need next. It's someone who's just on the supply route. All right, we've got hydrogen coming down and getting built up here. That's fine, but we would really like to get the rest of this line belt uh look three atmosphere suits beautiful okay today mad frank has decided he needs to come along and work on the insulative tiles for this little chill area down here we are starting to drop the temperature of these tiles but it's it's not enough it's not even close to enough over this side missile line going through and doing all the big dig that's pretty cool because that is exactly what i want also pretty cool get it no okay um, uh, let's go ahead and put some uh, some ladders out this way and this way so that we can get into the corners and maybe dig all the walls out I, I not dig build all the walls out that's probably going to be quite an important thing at some point but right now it's fine just just really i need to to get these tubes done Okay, after a morning of dealing with the critters and the uh, life support over here, Cubic Decipher and someone else who I miss who it was could put all their atmosphere suits back and now Mad Frank is coming down to do all the digs down here, all the builds down here, sorry, uh, which hopefully should lead to uh, full construction. Oh, oh, that was, that was a double call to arms. Let's go and have a look. Hi, how you doing? I'm looking for a supplying duplicate. Let's have a look. Uh, no, no, no. There is a bunch of water here. Is he going to just throw it on the floor? No. Oh. <laughs> All right, we've got the teamwork of Miss Line and Mad Frank coming around to do the business on the work down here. But of course, downtime is going to ruin not only the job, but my whole spiel of what I was talking about. Yeah, guys, I'm a little bit worried that this is going to overflow. It's going to be carrying on for another 66.6 .6 cycles. 666. But what are we going to do about that? Uh, we might need to open it all up and maybe let it touch the ice and see if everything just melts into a great big pool at the bottom, which would be fun. There's a load of rust down here. Uh, but maybe not the most useful. It would definitely, like, melt this whole area out. We'll see if there's any other wart seeds in here or anything. But I, uh, I got a feeling not. Uh, how's the temperature over here? It is 20s. Okay, minus 20s, of course. Uh, look, there's another cold bit down here, but this is... Ooh. Ooh, there's a thing. We got a locked door and, and stuff, but no, we're not We're not exploring today. We're trying to get this built. Okay, day 147. Missile Man Frank back down here doing the serious work. Like I tried to explain to you last night, but unfortunately uh, the downtime came through and ruined me. But here we go. All the very final bits of the pipes are being put into place. As long as there's enough igneous rock around, I'm a little bit worried where Missile Line is going because, you know, she is the best at this and she's decided that she doesn't want to get involved anymore. Uh, particularly as, yeah, I want to go down there. Let's check the priorities of these right now. Uh, I would like to get not so much the insulative tiles, but the gas pipe done. So I hope Hopefully he's going to ignore this. Yeah, all right. Good work, Frank. Good work. And then he can go around and do all the other uh, pipe building up here. We've got ourselves another another research. That is the plastic manufacturing that we had from earlier. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there anything we want to be working towards in the end? I think I might just like go for the renewable energy. I believe that this steam turbine is probably actually one of the best ways of dealing with heat, but we'll figure that out at some point okay that should actually be the pipe connected so if we work our way up here and maybe press the old f7 to see the uh the hydrogen start to flow that is pretty cool are we going to get enough to actually be used i don't know i think what we might end up doing once we use the cooling to keep this water cool is take a portion of that water and turn it into uh, oxygen and hydrogen of course because you know that's the classic electrolysis there uh and that should fingers crossed put us into a situation where we can keep as much hydrogen as we need also make a bunch of oxygen which you know is nice and keep the cooling running hmm, things are melting around us that's not exactly the direction i expected things to go i suppose uh with like 40 degree insulative tiles around that might have something to do with the explanation there so if these are like 40 degrees is this going to be taking on more heat there's a question yeah, kind of, slowly but surely, it is definitely happening. Oh man, if anything, I think the uh, temperature of these tiles under here has gone up. 
that's a little unfortunate. Well, over here, with that in mind, what I've gone and done is put down a whole bunch of ladders that I want to get built out here, and we should hopefully be able to go and grab ourselves a few Wii's warts, and then players, uh, players or duplicates, you know, either one, uh, will go ahead and move the Wii's warts over to the farm plots over there, and hopefully start cooling that down um, immensely and immediately. What's the, the freezing point of carbon dioxide, just out of interest? Minus 48, and this is down at minus 49. I've got a feeling we're going to start seeing a bit of liquid carbon dioxide fall out of the air here. I mean, that would be cool. I do keep seeing little drips of something. Wait, there's a lava egg there. How did a slick get down here? What? All right, here comes Miss Alliance. She seems to be having a little bit of trouble with the snow. You see how there's a lot of zero breaks, and then suddenly it does its thing. Uh, that That's fine, I suppose, because here comes the... No? You know... You're not going to dig the weasel up. You're like, nah, I've got more important things to do. Don't you know there's snow to be dug? Uh, like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's how you want to do it. I kind of want to do this little corner here. Uh, and immediately it all melts. Wait, what? why is it so, like... Uh, I wish it wouldn't change to the red colour. To me, that means that it seems to be... Uh, the word that I'm looking for is too hot. You know? It, it just comes across as too hot. All right, she's done. She just went running up here with the greatest speed I've ever seen. Oh, no, that's actually Forrest. Okay, that's... Wow, he, he, he shifts it. He shifts it. So with all that in place, we've just got a couple of jobs that we need to do now. One of which is to try and clear all the carbon dioxide out of here, but we're not going to worry about that for the moment. The other one is we want to flood this room here with hydrogen. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab a gas pipe and drag that across there. And hopefully half the hydrogen will go down here, half the hydrogen will go down there. Uh, we will increase the amount of hydrogen coming in when we start making water-based uh, water uh, oxygen, because that just gives us hydrogen. Talking of, look what I found over here. This, this is um, a little bit... A little bit weird because obviously we do we do want to cool down the salt water, but we've prepared for it over here. Mm. The other thing I want to do is go around and collect up all the ether, uh, eth ethyl. Uh, no wait, ethanol. I can say this right, honestly. Uh, I want to get the ethanol because if we have a look at the salt water and we come over here, you can see that it is uh, its minimum liquid is uh, liquid state is minus seven point five degrees C, which is. Uh, like, just if we dropped it in here, it would immediately have a little bit of trouble. So maybe polluted water, if we have a look at the polluted water, it has a minimum temperature of uh, 20 degrees. We're getting better, we're getting better. But, of course, the uh, ethanol over here, that has a minimum liquid of... Minus 20? I read that as minus 40. Hang about, let's have a look here. So what's going on there? Minus 114 is very different from minus 20. Yeah, that's actually really confused me. That has that has really confused me. I was expecting these two sets of numbers to match up. Mm, well, we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna try it anyway. Oh wait, no. This is giving me the polluted water information. Let's try clicking on it again. Oh, bugs, bugs happen. But yes, anyway, as I was trying to say, we're going to get all this ethanol and we're going to dump it into this room here so that we can keep it next to the cold hydrogen-filled area where hopefully the obsidian tile will uh, allow the cold to, uh, to, to drift, uh, diffuse across. That's the word I'm looking for. So we need to get people in here to make this ladder, make this little cold room here, and then we're going to start pouring ethanol in the top liquid vent. To set up for that, I have set up a whole uh, power system down here, and I think I'm going to go as far as actually setting down a power transformer as well. And I'm going to put it on this side. Oh, look, we've got another geyser here as well. We're actually totally surrounded by geysers. We're going to have to try and figure out exactly what we've got. Maybe something back here will solve all our troubles. I, I don't actually think... Oh, I can't actually, sorry, think of anything that would uh, do well here. What would save us from any particular problems. So I'm just going to cover this over. I'm going to dig this out. And I'm going to run down a ladder here, I think, would be the best place to do so. Uh, open this up and put a door in place and we'll see what we've got. When, when someone actually gets down there, of course. So the Wee's Warp population is starting to increase over this side, but honestly, I'm not expecting it to do a great deal of actual cooling. Looking at the temperature gradient here, uh, I, yeah, it, it's, it's going better, don't get me wrong. It's definitely doing a thing, uh, but it's not, not dealing with it in quite the manner that I would like it to. I don't understand why all the water is melting. We've got this being cooled. I just, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, obviously, we're doing something somewhere. Uh, have these, uh, these have gone in at higher temperature, so maybe. Let's press the F3 and have a look. Yeah, so these have all got to diffuse their temperatures out to match the surrounding landscape. Also, look at this. It looks like we've got a new unknown element, but actually, it's just the fog of war that hasn't cleared away because it's inside a building. 
Well, we've gone from a quarter of a million germs down to 70,000. So, you know, that, that's uh, going in the right direction. This thermal aqua tuna here definitely warming up the water in here and causing it to be just a little bit nicer. Uh, maybe we'll get a whole 40 degree loop on here. I've got a feeling if I press this, yeah, the, uh, the area is starting to get a little warm over here. So maybe we want to start thinking about cooling this water before it actually goes into the base. It's a tough one. Oh, we could totally throw down another aqua tuna here and take this pipe down and back up and out. Uh, that that would that would do the job. We could even leave the room for another one being here, if in case that is needed. Can this actually fit there? No, it turns out that this is the only place. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put one of those there, uh, and we're going to go plumbing. Uh, I want to actually bring up this overlay, press X to start destroying stuff. I'll destroy these two pipes here, even though really I, I do kind of still want them, but I can't split them apart without doing that. Uh, this is in and out in the wrong direction, so let's cancel that and swap it around. Oh, we have a problem. We can't put the liquid bridge going straight into there. That's not the end of the world. It means we're going to have to uh, rearrange the plumbing just a little bit, though. We'll come up and over like this and maybe take it down there. Uh, and then we can press X and get rid of these two. And hopefully that will uh, almost instantly get looked into. Uh, hopefully, as soon as Matt... Is that Mad Frank working on it right away? That is a beautiful... Okay, so we're going to have a liquid bridge going down and a liquid bridge going up. And that should then enable us to just connect all these together and hopefully have a nice cooling system now. Hmm, no one wants to come do the coal. Why is that? Why is that? We've got an atmospheric suit on the go? Hmm, I don't know. Nah, it must have been because the batteries were full. Now that it's dropped below the 75% cubic is on the uh, the errand to supply. I mean, that's kind of okay, but we also would really, really like to be powering through this to uh, feed our slicks. Don't want to lose those slicks after all. Much better, much better. Now, one thing I'd also like to do is try and figure out where all the chlorine's coming from in here. Look, we've got some bleach stone there. Let's get this a super high priority sweep and see what else we can do with it. Uh, I would like to, at some point, you see how we've got these not oxygen sensors around. I'd like to expand these out to all of the base, all of the uh, the asteroid at some point and try and make this uh, an entirely oxygenated area because that would be nice. And then we'd only have to worry about temperature and stuff like that for the atmospheric suits, uh, which is totally doable. I'd like to point out. Ah, look, the final exosuit is out there. It's got no oxygen in it, but the ex the exosuit is actually there. How long is it going to take for a little bit of oxygen to make it all its way through? It's going to take a long time. It's going to take it's almost like binary counting, right? Yeah, very long time indeed. Well, we've got some hot materials being put into place here, but you can see they're almost instantly being chilled down. That gas pipe there came in at about 40 degrees and it's uh, dissipating its heat out to its environment in a very efficient manner by the looks of it. I love it. Uh, in particular, these uh, obsidian tiles, they, they plummeted in temperature almost instantly, but that is why I chose obsidian for this dividing wall because I want to be able to uh, get all that cold temperature into the ethanol. There we go, everything's down to background colours. That's crazy. The insulated tiles, of course, holding onto that a little bit longer, but that's kind of their job, right? Insulated tiles. Oh, wow, whilst just searching around, just, you know, having a look. There, there's something here. There's something right here. We're going to try and make our way into this as well. We want uh, granite. We don't want the obsidian, thanks. Can't go for those ones, so I'll do that. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, cancel that out and put a door in the way here. Yep, okay, that's cool. Uh, some more tiles and a little bit of ladder work. Right, that should make a nice little area. We'll see what we get from this. In fact, I'm even going to go as far as to rip up some of this salt uh, because you know the duplicates love that salt. Oh, oh, we've got a little slickster down here. How did that happen? You're going to die very quickly. You're going to die very, very quickly. How do we get you out of here, buddy? How do we get you out of here? You're so small that you are going to... Well, not even so small. You're just going to freeze. You're actually going to freeze. Your comfortable living range is far outside what, where we're at. Yeah, in fact, it's the other side of zero degrees from where you're at. You, you gotta, yeah, you're going to have some big troubles. 
Okay, this is going to be interesting. I actually set up a system so that we could get rid of all the snow and ice that has been dropped down here. But the moment that I did that, and to do that, I should show you that I had put down a storage bin here and a storage bin here. This one takes the polluted ice, and this one takes ice and snow. But the moment I did that, people started running down to this area to come and pick up all the stuff. And I didn't expect them to do that, but, like, obviously, if I had put my, uh, my Thor brain into action, I could have predicted that it would happen. Happen. My most intriguing thing now is, is this going to take out temperature from the surrounding area? I think it might do. How do we find out the temperature of the ice? 19.1, maybe. May yeah, the temperature's going up. Maybe that can keep going. Is this going to add less temperature to it? Yeah, it does. It takes the temperature down a little bit. Okay, it's going to be interesting to see whether we actually get to the point where all this ice freezes. Thaws. Thaws is what I meant. Or maybe the water will freeze. Oh, I didn't even get to see it happen. There's the meat. It's refrigerated, though, so, I mean, that's good. <laughs> we'll still got this little bit of snow that keeps forming here. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, obviously, we want to try and clear out this entire area, so when we start dumping e uh, ethanol on top... I don't, know why I, keep, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it ethanol. But if, we just, if we're going to drop some ethanol on top of it, uh, then maybe we want to clear everything out of the way first. And that, that is entirely what I want to try and do here, is clear everything out of the way before we dump any liquids on top of it. I'm going to go with a new plan for clearing off this ledge. I'm actually going to dig out all the areas underneath, take out these tiles, and hopefully that will lead to us dropping all the stuff onto the floor. Mimi does appear to be coming along to actually deal with the stuff, but if she can't deal with it in the time it takes me to destroy this stuff, we've actually done it quicker like this. So I'm I'm, fine. I'm kind of good with the, uh, with the plan here. I would obviously prefer it if we got to keep the stuff instead of just dropping it on the floor, but uh, that's the thing there. Ah, okay, here comes Mimi to actually pick up some stuff. I wonder who's coming along to do the dig. It kind of has to be misaligned given the uh, the dig skill, dig skill being required. Uh, and it turns out that we've only got two people that have that skill and both are kind of busy. Uh, misaligned is suddenly on her way to come and do the job. I've got a feeling that she's not going to get down there before time runs out. I suppose we're going to have to wait and see. Mad Frank eating already. I'm not sure what he is doing there but obviously if he is starving, he is starving and we can't do anything about that. Where did all this polluted stuff come from. Oh, I bet it's whilst people were trying to bring down polluted ice. I bet, oh, 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 that's a little bit of a shame, but you know, that, that's fine. Dropping water, dropping ice there, I'm kind of okay with it, because if we try and get a hold of this, we can watch it slowly lose all its temperature to the environment, chilling the water down, but also giving us more water. 80 kilos of water is not something to be sneezed at. I don't know whether that's going to change into exactly 80 kilos of uh, liquid water. I, I would hope so, but there's no guarantee that that's actually the case. Looks like it's going to take just over an entire night for this ice to get down to uh, nice melty temperatures. We can see we went from about 20 degrees down to 4 degrees in the course of the one evening. I want to stay here and I want to watch it. I want to see what actually happens when that reaches. It says down here the minus uh, 06, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Obviously, as the temperatures get closer to being equalized, the... Uh, the rate of transfer slows down because it's all done by, you know, divided by the temperature difference. Uh, so as that gets smaller, you divide by smaller. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but we'll, we'll see exactly. All right, cool. The, the water's gone. Boom. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, Miss very happily picking up the job where she left off last night. That's going to be good. We should be able to finally, finally drop all the equipment down there. Maybe it's time to uh, to queue up these build orders. I think we'll go like that, and I think we'll go like this. Uh, cancel that one because it's a little bit over the top. Miss Line should hopefully now just dig it all out. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to reach this end one here. Hopefully she'll do that before she takes like any ridiculous uh, steps. Uh, is, is that it? That's okay. That's the ridiculous steps. As Mad Frank, Misalign, and Luna make the finishing touches to this, what I think is to be a old wonder. Oh, Mad Frank, what have you done? Oh, Mad Frank, how have you done it? Uh, I was going about to say, as they make the finishing touches on what I feel is like a perfect little uh, device for clearing out space here, I feel like maybe, maybe we've caused ourselves a little bit of harm. Can I uh, move you down here? I've got a feeling we are going to have ultimate problems here. Uh, Mad Frank literally cannot be made to do anything else. Can we unequip this? No, I don't want to do that. I just, I just want to get him moving before he seals himself in here. I think he's going to just seal himself in there anyway. All right, we, we will allow him to break the wall behind him and then rebuild it because that's what we need to do here. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to pump ethanol into our heat 
nullifying device over here. We're going to try and put up the salt vine next time to start dealing with all this chlorine. And if all that goes incredibly well and I feel like the heat exchange is working out, we're going to try and take advantage of this salt water geyser over here. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!